Hello everyone, welcome again to our YouTube channel. This is Teacher C or Chris Aguirino and today we will have our new um, lesson or new episode for our uh, capstone and research project. So for this um, episode, uh, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify a scientific problem or question. So you're going to create your own research problem or research questions. So we have here research problem or research question. So what is research question? A research question is the question around which is the center of your research. It should be the first one is clear. It provides enough specifics that one's audience can easily understand its purpose without needing additional explanation. Okay, next is we have focus. It is narrow enough that it can be answered thoroughly in the space the writing task allow. The research also, the research question also is concise. It is expressed in the fewest possible words. Next is we have complex. complex. It is not answerable with a simple yes or no, but rather requires synthesis and analysis of idea and sources prior to composition of an answer. So that means your research question cannot be answered by a yes or a no. If, if, that, if that is answered by yes or no, so that is uh, there will be a supporting answers. Okay. Next, we have arguable. Its potential answers are open to debate rather than accepted facts. So you should ask a question about an issue that you are genuinely curious and or passionate about. So we have here the steps to develop a research question. We have here first is you need to choose an interesting general topic. Most professional researchers focus on topics they are genuinely interested in studying. Writers should choose a broad, a broad topic about which they genuinely would like to know more. Next is we have, do some preliminary research on your general topic. Do a few quick researches in a current periodicals and journals on your topic to see what's already been done and to help you narrow to help you narrow your focus what issues our scholars and researchers discuss when it comes to your topic and what questions occur to you as you read these articles and we have here start asking questions taking into consideration all of the above Start asking yourself open-ended how and why questions about your general topic. So we have also here evaluate your questions. After you've put all your questions or every a couple of questions down on paper, evaluate these questions to determine whether they would be effective research questions or whether they need more revising and refining. Is your research questions clear? With so much research available on our any given topic, research question must be as clear as possible in order to be effective in helping the writer direct his or her research. Is your research question focused? Research questions must be specific enough to be well covered in the specific available. And is your research question complex? Research questions should not be answerable with a simple yes or no or by easily found facts. They should instead require both research and analysis on the part of the writer. They often begin with how or why. And then next is we have you need to begin your research. After you have come up with a question, think about the possible paths your research could take. So what sources? Should you consult as you seek answers to your questions? And what research process will ensure that you find a variety of perspective and responses to your questions? And here are the example of your research questions. So we have here an example title, SEMA, a college interim examination mobile application. So research question, how the SEMA application developed. What are the insights and feedbacks or evaluation of the reviewees toward the mobile application? Is there any significant difference in the assessment of the reviewees of the following subject? Materials, instructor, and scope of the review using mobile application. 
terms of abstract, English, mathematics, and science. We have also another example, title, MQ2 detector, an Arduino-based gas detector preventing gas leak explosion. How the MQ2 detector was developed, and then what are or what is the performance of the MQ2 detector in detecting LPG with fixed distance. Number three, what is the performance of the MQ2 detector in detecting smoke with fixed distance? What is the performance of MQ2 detector in the detecting LPG with various distances? Number four, what is the performance of the MQ2 detector in detecting smoke with various distances? And lastly, we have here, what is the performance of MQ2 detector in sending messages? So these are the examples of uh, creating research questions. Not answerable by research. Uh, it's not answerable by yes or no. Okay. So again, thank you so much for listening. Bye.